Hey, Sport, it's Dad. Congratulations on your first round of exams. I know how hard you've been studying. And uh, well, I wish Mom were here to celebrate, but... Um, oh, look, I was wondering if when you're free, you'd like to go to the Air and Space Museum again. It's been a couple years since our last visit. Let me know what you think. Well, I'll leave you to get back to your exciting college life. Oh, and I'll see you next weekend when you drive down, so... So drive safe, kiddo. Oh, and hey, I'm so proud of you. It's not right. This isn't enough. You can still drive back down if you feel that way. Classes don't start I, until... I can't be in a car right now. I'm sorry. I, I understand. Do you want to talk about it? I guess... I don't know. I miss him. I wish I could go see his real grave. Like, after Mom left, he was the only parent I had for years. I hated him for so long because I thought he had driven her away. I loved him, too, but I didn't expect, you know. I know how much you meant to him. When you introduced me to him, he told me putting me through college was going to be the hardest work he's ever done in his life. But he seemed happy about it, like he knew you were going to change the world or something. Yeah. It's going to be a lot harder without him putting me through college, though. Joan? I think he was right. Three. Okay. Feel better? No. Yeah. So let's look at our options one more time. No private loans because interest rates are insane. You can't get a federal loan because... Make too much money. But you can't afford college by yourself because... You don't make enough money. And you sure you don't want to join the Navy? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. But out of the 16 scholarships we've looked at, we missed the deadline on all but... The Higgins Choose Award. Three months out. Uh, uh, Thomas Ringer? Oh, there's no way I'm hiding. Hey, okay. It's all right. If you don't get it, we can just take the year off until we have enough money. Wait, we? No, 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 no. This can't be a we thing. What about you? I'm not leaving you behind. But I can't stake your future on my success. That, that means I can't fail. You won't. I'm sorry, how much do you need that book? That's that's the one I was looking for, too. Quite a bit. Why? Well, I, uh, I need it for a project I'm working on. Um, why do you need it? Same reason. Think you can find it somewhere else? There's no PDF online. Look, Thomas, I know we've had our disagreements, but I really need that book. If you check it out now, I will be weeks behind schedule. If you were just starting right now, I'd be surprised if you finished in time. Oh, and good luck beating me. Look, at least give me a fair fight. My my dad died last week, and if I don't win this award, I, I won't be able to pay for college. Yeah, well, join the club. I haven't seen him so and he just does something like that? Like... I need the book. What am I going to do without it? I don't know anatomy. Are you kidding? I'm a, I'm a mechanics and engineering person. Like, that's just... No, that's fair. I'd be mad. <laughs> Thank you. That makes me feel better about it. But... Hey, actually, that's the guy I was just talking about. Hey! Hey, excuse me. Thomas, what was that all about in the library? I want to know why you think keeping materials from me is okay. I'm trying to make it in this world. 
just as much as you are. Hey, dude, why aren't you answering me? Thomas's boyfriend? Sure. Hey, um, they... They, uh, set a couple of the bones, but they need to do a minor surgery. Um, do you think you can come help me sign? Sure. Hey, Tommy boy, it's gonna be alright, yeah? You're gonna be alright. Yeah. Wait! I'm really sorry your project got destroyed. If, if there's anything I can I do... I think you've done enough. Wait! Listen, all I wanted was a fair fight. I know your project got destroyed, but if you need, you can help online. Why would I ever want to do that? How much can you do with your arm like that? And we starting now, you know when the deadline is. If we work together, maybe we can split the award? <laughs> we can't. I... I don't care. Whatever. Let's talk tomorrow. Okay, great. Um, see you tomorrow. So, you brought me here to talk about prosthetics? You know I'm a bio major, right? Yeah, with a focus in anatomy, yes. Okay. So here's what I've got so far. The goal of this project is to create a cheap, customizable prosthetic design that runs the body's energy and can simulate the senses of heat and touch. Wow. You are really far out of your depth. <laughs> Please remember you're here to help. I am. You know USC tried this a few years back, right? You know how much something like this costs? $95,000. And that's the problem. The tech has been proven to work, but it's way too expensive for anyone to buy. So, what's your number? 12,000. I mean it. Check my diagram. If you say so. All right, here. You missed a flexor in the ankle. Uh, you know, you would have spotted that if you'd studied your anatomy. And, uh, whose fault is that? Touche. All right, I can redraw this mess, but not without some music on first. Wow. Great. See? You're helping already. I'll get used to it. Thinking about your dad again? I just, I can't believe it's been three months already. What happens if one day I don't remember him at all? Hey, don't say that. Come on. Yeah, you're right. Hey, when I first saw you, you told me to join the club. Did I? I'm sorry, I no, can no, be no. a real I... asshole. What happened? You know, I'm a Navy kid. Our whole family was built on my great-grandparents' work during the war. Patriots. None of them were too excited about me studying here, especially my dad. One night, he comes home completely drunk and ranting about me leaving for the States. And then mom tells him to sleep in a motel for the night. He packs his suitcase, slams the door on the way out. That was the last time I saw him. They gave us a flag to remember him by. My mom's still pissed at me. 
I'm sorry. I never asked why you left. I'm... I'm sorry I treated you like you were just someone in my way. I treated you the same. I walked into the street that day. It's I... not your fault. Yeah, I... I know that. It's not your fault. Not the street, not your dad. Nothing was. It's not your fault. I know. Do you ever wonder what happens if only one of us gets the scholarship? everyone for having me here tonight. This scholarship is for only the best and brightest, and in being so, it can only be granted to one student. So, for this student's amazing practical breakthrough in prosthetic technology, we grant this award to... Thomas Ringer! This is a, a great honor. Um, I want to thank everyone who got me here. Um, it is with great pride that I say I cannot accept this award. I can see. I don't need your money. This whole project was Joan's idea. She deserves your award, not me. Thank you. Well, um, in that case, I suppose the award goes to Joan DeMarkson for her work on this groundbreaking project. They're giving you everything in there. You can't just turn something like that down. It's too late. I already did. Tom, are you even thinking? For somebody so smart, how could you be so stupid? Can we go? That was the most embarrassing thing I've ever done in my life, and I'd really like to disappear now. just done? Come clean, Tommy boy. <laughs> I won my case against the hit and run guy. His insurance gave me the payout this morning. It's enough to pay for my next two years here. Are you kidding? Why, why wouldn't you tell us? Frankly, I wasn't expecting to win. I figured I'd let you know at the ceremony after you won, you know, make the whole good news better. He's an idiot. Yeah, I am an idiot. We did talk to them about it after the ceremony. They said that for your outburst, they're going to remove you from all future consideration for the scholarship. Nah, I'll get used to it. Thomas. Thank you. If anyone here deserves thanks, it's definitely 